Hey there, and in this video we are going to see how to install subject tool. So what is it? So this package contains a subdomain takeover tool written in Go language, designed to scan a list of subdomains concurrently and identify ones that are able to be hijacked. So you can install it from the GitHub repository or from this command sudo apt install subject. So I found it real easy one. So we are going to open the terminal and start installing it. So now that the tool is installed, let's have a look at the command of subject tool. Open up the subject GitHub repository and in here we can see uh, all the commands, the list and how many threads we can provide. We can also provide the timeout and with the hyphen o command we can save the results. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Now let's try it out. So before trying this tool out, first we have to collect all the subdomains of a particular website. So uh, let's take example tesla.com. So we can find all the subdomains with the help of any tool like subluster or subfinder. I have subfinder installed in my Kali Linux, so I'm going to basically type subfinder hyphen D and then tesla.com. And then it will start collecting all the subdomains. I'm going to let it go for a minute and oh I guess I forgot to save it in a file so clear the screen up and type in the subfinder tool again and I'm, now I'm going to save it in a file tesla.txt After waiting for a while I guess all the subdomains have been collected by the subfinder tool so first let's see how many subdomains we have collected wc-l to find the number of lines in a particular file so tesla.txt and it says 417 so 417 subdomains have been collected now let's start using the subject tool subject and then hyphen w to provide the file in which all the subdomains are there so type in the command and then hyphen v for verbose and then hit enter as we can see it has started testing all the subdomains in tesla.txt to check if it is vulnerable to subdomain takeover and it says not vulnerable and if there is the any vulnerable subdomain it will basically show vulnerable in green font green color so at this moment there is not even a single subdomain that is vulnerable but this is how it works so thanks for watching this video.